For years, Maya felt like she was locked in a constant battle with her own body. She followed every trending wellness tip, every new diet making waves online. First, she tried going low-carb and high-fat with keto, instead of feeling energized, she just felt sluggish and deprived. Next she tried a strict low-fat plan, but that only left her hungry all the time. Every attempt started with hope, but ended at the same frustrating place, a quiet sense of failure and the nagging question, why doesn't this work for me? It was as if her body had a secret language she just couldn't crack. Her friends would swear by diets that left her feeling worse, making Maya feel like an outsider in her own skin. Then one evening, while scrolling through a science journal, Maya stumbled upon something called genometabolic analysis, nutrigenomics. It promised a future where you could read your body's unique genetic blueprint to understand exactly what you need to thrive. No more guessing, no more following advice meant for most people, instead, a diet built just for her. Intrigued and honestly a bit skeptical, Maya decided to give it a shot. The process was simple, a saliva swab sent to a lab. A few weeks later an email landed in her inbox. It wasn't just another diet plan, it was a revelation. The report felt like discovering a long-lost owner's manual for her body. It showed her how her genes influenced everything, her energy, her food cravings, even her sleep. Suddenly, her past struggles started making sense. First, the fat gene myth. Maya learned she had a version of the FTO gene, which made her more sensitive to saturated fats. The high-fat keto diet she tried? That was actually the opposite of what her body needed. Her blueprint suggested healthy fats, think avocado and olive oil, and being mindful with carbs. Then came the caffeine conundrum. Thanks to her CYP1A2 gene, she was a slow metabolizer of caffeine. Suddenly those jittery afternoons and sleepless nights made sense. The solution, swap the mega coffee for gentler green tea. The analysis also flagged a likely lactose intolerance, a variant in her LCT gene. She'd accepted bloating as normal, never realizing why it happened. Armed with this knowledge, Maya didn't start another diet, she started a conversation with her body. No more restriction, just alignment with her biology. She switched to matcha in the morning. She piled her plate with leafy greens and lentils, confident her body could use their nutrients. She tried out plant-based milks and cheeses and never looked back. The changes were more than just on the scale. Within a month, her brain fog lifted. Her energy stayed even all day. Weight loss happened naturally, not as a struggle but as a side effect of finally giving her body what it truly needed. For the first time Maya felt like she and her body were on the same team. She stopped fighting her genetics and started working with them. Genometabolic analysis didn't hand her a magic pill, it gave her something better, the knowledge to make peace with her plate and unlock her own unique potential for health. Maybe that's the real end of the dieting guessing game.